Well, we're back with you for what should be a fascinating match between Italy and England. We're in Milan then for today's big match and the stadium is packed to capacity. So, time now to go live into the stadium to join John Motson and Andy Gray. Yes, thanks, Des. Andy and I anticipating something a bit special out there today and the crowd are up for this one as... Hello and thank you for joining us for this interesting FIFA World Cup clash. A lot to be decided in this game, so sit back and enjoy this encounter between... being with us Clive Tilsey here joined by Andy Townsend for this match the World Cup just wouldn't be the World Cup without Brazil the best record the best players the best looking supporters this is the country that has written so many of the World Cup legends yeah we know what they're like going forward at the back they're not always a textbook but nonetheless you can't not watch Brazil they are just irresistible when they get going The waiting is over. Welcome to the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa. The world's biggest sporting event. Football's most prestigious trophy. Serious business for the teams. A carnival atmosphere among the fans. The whole country is in party mood. But these players carry their nation's hopes and dreams onto the field. For them and for their managers, no greater honour, no greater pressure than representing your country on this stage. Andy Townsend, you know what it's like. It's like nothing else in football, Clive. You can play for the very best club sides on this earth, but nothing beats the pride and the passion of turning out for your country. For all the millions of fans back home, you just never forget it. It has been uh, years in the planning, some thought we'd never see these great names in a World Cup on African soil. But somehow the spirit of the country and of the tournament has shone through. Yeah, and the welcome for the players, Clive. It's just been overwhelming. This is a unique World Cup. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience that will live long in the memory. Haven't heard of before. We get that at World Cups. All of a sudden, a player will shine. He'll race to, to the top of the pile. And, you know, someone putting a crazy bid for him after the World Cup. But it... welcome again, Clyde Tilsey and Andy Townsend, your commentary team for a. A group match, a passport to the knockout stages. Yep, interesting matchup this between two very good teams. Maracanã is close to capacity. Everyone here wanted to see this one. Well, it's a beautiful day today, isn't it? 
But now the pre-match national anthems of Argentina and Bosnia-Herzegovina. sense of occasion here a lot of anticipation Argentina take to the field for the first time is this a team that's ready to challenge it's high time Clive that this Argentinian side produced you know it's a long time ago now 78 and 86 and Maradona and co the Argentinian team of today are good enough to win the World Cup if you were painting a portrait of a pantomime villain in football he would be a defender and for some reason, he would be an Argentinian defender. Now, why is that? You tell me, you must have played against them. <laughs> hey, look, because they're rugged, they're no nonsense. If, hey, if you get past the last, if you get past an Argentinian defender, expect a foot to come out and trip you up. Expect something to grab the back of your shirt. You shall not pass. Well, in this competition, we've reached the group stage, Alan. Match day one. Yeah, one of those where you want to get off to a good start. Of course you do, so both sides aiming to do that. We're looking at a terrific fixture for you today as our main feature. It's Brazil, and they play Switzerland. We talk about the highest level that a player can achieve. Alan, you had the honour of playing for England, and we've got two national teams here today. Oh, it's always a special moment. You pull on your nation's shirt. Always a big game. This is no different. It's time for the national anthems. Switzerland, one of the countries that has hosted a World Cup back in uh, 1954. And they looked pretty impressive in qualifying, Alan. Well, it certainly did. Only lost that one game. The last one against Portugal had to go through the playoffs. But during that qualifying, they were really impressive. Brazil's line up today is this. Marcelo starts with Danilo as the fullbacks. Paulinho plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And today it's just the one striker in the side. One thing to look out for from this team today is the way they try and win the ball back within seconds of losing it. Yeah, and they don't do it individually, they get backed up by a teammate, they hunt in packs, and you've got to do that, you've got to do it with discipline. اهلا ومرحبا بكم مشاهدينا الكرام اينما كنتم هنا ملعب لوسين ومعكم فارس عوض من كابينه التعليق 
واليوم نلتقي لمتابعة نهائي بطولة كأس العالم المونديال يصل إلى محطته النهائية محطة الاحتفالات ورفع الألقاب هنا مباراة تلعب على كل شيء هنا مباراة من أجل التاريخ من أجل المجد والذهب هنا مباراة ستشهد على تاريخ ونسجله بالتأكيد وندونا ونستمتع بهذه الأجواء الرائعة والمباراة الكبيرة فرنسا في مواجهة الأرجنتين وصلنا إلى النهاء الكبير مشاهدينا وصلنا إلى المباراة الكبيرة في كأس العالم مباراة تلعب على الأعصاب وتتلاعب بها مباراة تحبس الأنفاس وتنطلق بالتأكيد هذه المدرجات بمشاعرها وبفخرها مباراة لا تحتاج إلى تقديم يكفي أن نقول أن الفائز اليوم سيكون بطلا لكأس العالم تعرض الان التشكيله اللي راح يلعب فيها المنتخب الفرنسي امامكم على الشاشه هيجو لوريس يشغل مركز حراسه المرمى كيم بيمبي سيلعب بجواري رافائيل فاران في الدفاع كانتي سيبدا مع بول بوجبا في قلب الوسط وفي الهجوم بنزيما سيبدا بجواري كيليان امبابي ولا مع التشكيل الرسمي لمنتخب الارجنتين ايميليانو مارتينيز يشغل حراسه المرمى كريستيان روميرو سيلعب الى جانب اوتاميندي في الخط الخلفي ليونيل ميسي سيبدا مع دي ماريا في مركزي الاجنحه وفي الامام يلعب لوتارو مارتينيز